everyone, my name is Leda Nakavila. I'm an actress, I'm a screenwriter and a producer from Uganda. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and thank you for watching my program. This is the fourth episode of the show. In a previous episode, we talked about how important an audition is to an actor. Why every actor should go for an audition, most especially when you are a beginner. Because when you've done quite many projects and you sign under an, a casting agency, you might not go for these other random auditions. But when you're beginner, with, when you're beginner, you have to go for as many auditions as possible. And in the previous episode, I promised you that in this episode, I'll be talking about how to nail an audition, or the do's and don'ts an actor should know before they walk into the audition room. Like what an actor should know as they prepare for the audition. First of all, I'll go straight to the point. First of all, you don't want to be late at an audition at an audition venue. Be there at least 20 minutes before the auditions. Okay, because you get enough time to go through your script or to go through your monologue. Uh, in incidences where an actor is given a script at the audition point, you have to understand the script and understand the character, what you should do, and. That really requires time because first of all you're nervous, you can get the lines, and the, the little time you have, the worse your audition will turn out to be. So you have to be there on time. And it shows that you're professional and uh, you're disciplined because uh, directors want to work with disciplined actors. So when they see like, oh yeah, she was the first person at the, at the audition venue, they might even when you come into the audition, might be a little lenient with you, even if you've not done that uh, quite well. They'll be like, "Oh, she was the first person at the audition venue. Oh, maybe we can look at her for a certain character, even if they were not to give you a role." So be there at least the twenty minutes before the audition time. Also, getting to choose an audition partner, a very uh, 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 a person, uh, at least get enough time to interact with that person. Because most sometimes we have to perform too, and you don't want to perform with the person you just made in a blink of an eye. Like, you, yeah, let's go and perform. You don't know what. Get enough time to try and uh, rehearse before the audition. So keep time. Secondly, be brief and professional. Don't answer questions that you've not been asked for. Don't start conversation with casting directors. It doesn't work. Okay, answer only the questions you've been asked for. Don't create a lot of, you know, I'm this and this and this, I do this and this and this, I can also do this and this and I, I know you from here. No, don't create conversation with casting directors. Another thing, don't bad mouth anyone at the audition point. Not anyone. You don't know what your, uh, your fellow actor will say when you get away or what your fellow actor will talk to the casting director. Maybe she has gotten a role and they're like, oh, remember the other girl who was this and this and this? she said you're this and this and this. Please don't badmouth anyone. Put your phone in silence. You don't want your phone to ring in the middle of your audition. It puts you off because auditioning is not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. You, first of all, you're nervous, and then there is this phone call, and then you know what the message is saying. Oh, Leila, will you make it at Cafe Javas in the evening? It's not important. This is your career. This is your life. You need this. Another thing, don't wear heavy makeup. My, my ladies, my fellow girls, don't wear heavy makeup. You don't want the casting directors to look at how pretty your face is and leave your energy as uh, how you, you are trying to portray a character because you don't even know the part you're going to play just in case it's not a monologue you don't know what you're going to play because you might be going to play a village woman, a village girl, a village boy and then you have this heavy makeup and doesn't really match anything and then don't bring props and costumes at the, at the auditions you know, unless you've been asked to Sometimes we have, uh, sometimes we, we are given scripts, maybe via mail, before we come for auditions, please, even if you've seen you have to act like a mad person, don't bring those costumes. Maybe you will have to, uh, sometimes people, <laughs> they end up do, doing that makeup for, for uh, mad people, so that uh, they can look more mad people, no, they are not looking at that person. They are looking at what you can give because they know they have to do that makeup as you uh, when you, you start shooting. So please don't bring those costumes. Don't bring. Uh, don't do heavy makeups. Don't bring props. Other audition. 
another thing please don't ask for feedback don't say don't ask um can i know how i have done or have i uh, uh, uh how have i done like is it okay no don't ask for feedback feedbacks are asked in acting classes not at audition points uh another important thing don't uh another important thing th say thank you before you leave the audition room and lastly but not least don't uh apologize don't apologize for messing up your auditions no because maybe the casting director thinks that you've nailed it they have, they have gotten what they want and then you're here saying i'm sorry i messed it up and then it kills their vibe <laughs> it really doesn't work that way if you've given you've been given time to do it do it and you feel like you finished just say thank you and leave the audition room don't say i'm sorry i messed it up unless you're sure they're going, going to give you more time to repeat it but if you're not sure they're going to give you more time to do it again don't apologize for messing it up because you bring their vibe down maybe they think they have the right person already and then you're here saying i'm sorry i messed it up hope you 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 can pick a few things and hope hope this uh, program is helpful for you hope it turns out to brighten up your auditions hope you've really enjoyed it i'm leila nakabila i'm an actress screenwriter producer thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel see you again